Hi there. Oh, ooh. I know what you're all thinking. Whose ears did I have to wear to get my very own show at Disney? Well, it took a lot of begging and I spent a lot of time on my knees begging to get into this park. So thank you all for joining us for story time with Deadpool. Does everyone here like stories? Shout out your favorite ones. Hold on, did someone say Freddy Krueger? I'm not doing that here. I'm going to do my own show. None of you had any good suggestions. This one right here, my story. It's full of action, romance, and it's guaranteed to be in strong consideration for awards at the end of the calendar year. This story is the Disney approved beauty pool and the Wolver Beast. Yeah, little secret there for you. I love you too. <laughs> Once upon a time, you know, it just doesn't feel right when I do it by myself. I think we should all do it together. Everybody on three. One, two, three. Once upon a time. That was surprisingly together for how many of you there are. Well done. Well done. Once upon a time, I was walking along, captivated by my favorite book, the autobiography of Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> when suddenly I saw my father's horse, Philippe, returning. He came a clopping. Do it with me. Do it. Make some noise. There we go. This is interactive. It's in my contract. It has to be. But my father's horse, Philippe, was back alone. My father, no longer in the saddle. <gasps> Apparently, I was the only one surprised by that. So. But this was required in order to move the story forward. So, what I did was I looked at Philippe, I jumped into his face and I said, Philippe, where is Papa? Is he in some sort of trouble? I asked the horse this like he was some sort of television horse that could understand English and respond. But he wasn't, he's a horse. Yeah. So he just whinnied. And I'm not really brushed up on my horse, so I mounted Philippe and said away to Papa, quickly! And away we galloped. Thank you. No, I was asking you to gallop, not applause. Oh, come on, all right. We galloped through the deep, dark forest. It was dark. It was scary. It was like going to a Waffle House at 3 a.m. in Van Nuys. But suddenly, we came upon a clearing and out of the mist arose an enchanted mansion, Professor Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. I dismounted Philippe and sent him on his way, for I knew what lived here. It was the horrible, the hairy, the They don't care about your story. Come on, oh, we gotta come. No, this is a special moment for everybody here. Let's take some pictures like prom. Get come on, we gotta go. No time. No, no, this isn't for me, Wolvie. This is for the kids. And all of the adults streaming this to their social media platforms. Fine. I'm doing this for you, kid. Oh. 
Wow, that kid's lucky. <laughs> right there, you just you oh, can wear the glasses. Where did we leave off? I'm not wearing the glasses. Get off. Ah! That wasn't my idea. <sighs> okay. So, Belle. Beauty pool. I'm not saying beauty pool. I, I scribbled it right there, you can see it. Beauty pool. Yes. Does a little B&E and meets a bunch of weirdos who are furniture and dishes. And cutlery. It's important they have a dance number at the end. Then, the real hero shows up. The beast. The Wolver Beast. Come on, follow the rules of the parody anyway, here. Anyway, Pooh Boy makes a mess of things as usual, then it's up to Wolverine to save the day. Uh, blah, 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 I slice up some bad guys oh. while Beauty Queen stands in the corner making a bunch of stupid jokes with outdated cultural references. <gasps> My jokes are not outdated. They are hilarious and modern and unending, just like Splash Mountain. Oh. Oops, too soon. Plus, this whole thing, you're, you're not even putting any effort into it. You need to mention Mrs. Potts and her little boy Chip, Lumiere, and of course, Chef Boosh. That's a really deep cut for all you magic key pass holders out there. So, it's the stove. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Come on, with you, I expected a few bars of tale as old as time. I said no musical theater. No musical theater? It's a pity if you were a showman, you would be the greatest. I don't know what that means. You know what? This whole thing just has gone off the rails. I, I guess we'll just wrap it up. So the moral of the story, children, is don't open the door to strangers because they might be an evil enchantress who will turn you, your house, your guests, your furniture, just everything inside into something else for not letting them come in. Oh, this is a weird story, huh? You think? I can't believe we read this to children. All right, well, hey, hey, to finish it up, I think you should say the words. What words? You know, the way that all good Disney stories end. And don't any of you say post credit scene, all right? <laughs> that is only in the Feige Cinematic Universe, the FCU, which I could afford to cut a letter out of that somewhere. I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, all right, well, uh, I guess he's going. Yeah, you hear that? They're glad you're leaving. Well, uh, for what it's worth, they all lived happily ever after. That is, until the direct-to-video releases, which the residuals on those are terrible. Pennies on the dollar. Did anyone see Once Upon a Deadpool? No, we're just... They're playing me off. I gotta, I gotta go.